one-man show is the last refuge of the unemployable. Nevertheless, I used the month's holiday I was granted by European community rights to escape from playing in The Woman in White in the West End eight times a week and take myself with my daughter, Dora, as assistant up to the Edinburgh Festival, how many years ago, to perform my one-man play about the Syrian saint Simeon Stylites, who lived from 388 to 459 AD, obviously, on the top of a pillar. Some 30 years he lived there. The play owed little to historic fact and everything to my wayward imagination. The following is a rare outing from my previously unheard radio adaptation. The scene is the top of St. Simeon Stylites' pillar in Syria in the 5th century. What a singularly dreadful dream. I pray my death will not be like that. Another dawn, I thank thee. Grant me curiosity to greet it as my first and strength, tenderness and hope, in case it is my last. I must think of a better morning prayer. New morning prayer. That is to say, radically new morning prayer. Prayer from the pillar of doubt. Lord, as usual, my first thoughts on waking were of myself rather than my neighbour, or even my neighbours, who, mindful of the advantages, material and spiritual, of living in the benign shadow of my holy pillar, are, if not from heaven, then careful at least not to gain a reputation for being from the other place. I trust that I am no cause for the sin of covetousness in my neighbour, Conversely, I have never entertained hopes of having his ox nor his ass up here, still less his wife, though in earlier years it was touch and go in regard to his servant and his maid. It didn't occur to them to visit me, and I never risked my reputation by sending either of them an invitation, saying, come up and see me sometime. But then I knew they couldn't read. Here we are, blessed. Roman roads connecting Antioch with the Euphrates. A rich traffic of trade, Lord. Silk from China, local harvests of olive oil and nuts, spices, etc. Beautiful dawns and sunsets. Remarkable building schemes, I hear, producing majestic basilicas and monasteries noble in their austerity where the conservative weep in their cells and seek thee in the blank walls thereof, as well as in the arc of sky above the cloister and each handful of the soil they till. The progressive study and translate Greek philosophy, producing fine illuminated manuscripts in the face of satirical rumours that they spend their time disputing how many angels can dance on the head of a pin. All this, Lord, makes the region a very passable substitute for the Garden of Eden and the populace amongst the pastures, olive groves and corn are doing their best to sin as originally as possible. The 1800-year-old triumphal arch, so recently destroyed at Palmyra in Syria, has been replicated in little and erected in Trafalgar Square, where it is nearing the end of its short stay, surrounded by much younger buildings, all of which owe their being to time-honoured ancient traditions. 
in remembering my visit to the astounding desert city years ago. Its early history, fraught with wars and destruction, rebuildings and destruction again. I wonder now about the fate of certain people I remember meeting, briefly, whose lives may be beyond rebuilding, and certainly can never, ever be replicated. Thank you.